I'm James O'Keefe. Here at Project Veritas, our mission is to expose the truth. Waste, fraud, abuse, hypocrisy, corruption, no matter where it may lie. This time, it happens to lie within the Republican Party of Wisconsin. State Senate President Mike Ellis was caught on our hidden cameras, contradicting statements he's made to the press and his constituents, working against Republican presidential hopeful Scott Walker, and potentially conspiring to commit a felony in violation of Wisconsin state elections law. The audio recordings you're about to hear have been transcribed with larger subtitles to enhance clarity. Republican State Senator Mike Ellis has come out aggressively against political action committees and their outside spending. Now, there's something wrong with a bill <clears throat> that says special interest groups can come in and spend $360,000 on behalf of Mike Ellis to destroy George Curtis. Ellis has been caught on hidden camera before at Inn on the Park in Madison, Wisconsin. Senator Mike Ellis backtracking tonight after some critical statements bashing Green Bay's Preble High School. Our hidden cameras followed Mike Ellis into the same bar he frequents to see what he could tell us this time. According to Wisconsin state election law, candidates cannot coordinate the actions of their campaign with an independent group, whether that's a super PAC or anything else. Here, Ellis appears to intend to create a PAC and not disclose his involvement in coordinating it, attacking his opponent, Democrat Assemblywoman Shaber. I have a $400,000 committee that Judy Rose will, I'm raising the money, she will manufacture the grass. She's good at what she does. So I told Judy, if I raise $500,000, then you attack her. I don't want to attack her. I want Judy, somebody else to attack her. Quote, getting somebody else to attack, unquote, is precisely what Ellis has publicly said he is against. Senator Ellis even helped pass a campaign finance reform bill and told the Post Crescent, this, quote, goes to the heart of the biggest cancer in our election system. And again, Ellis has called the very act he is discussing doing a monstrous problem. So in other words, what we have done is we've actually increased the significance of outside independent expenditure groups. That is a monstrous problem. But it gets worse. In fact, Ellis even comes up with a fake name for the political action committee. I don't want to attack her. I want to be somebody else to attack her. Friends of free life. Whatever the hell they want to call it. But I will have, I'll have a half a million. Ellis even mentions the names of his largest donors who will be contributing to his super PAC. I got a half a million bucks. This is Aylward. It's going to put in 50,000. That's a high bucks. Stu Mills will put in 50,000. Henry Mills will put in 50,000. Now I'm just 200. Bob Keller's going to put in 50. His brother Jim will do whatever Bob tells him. Now I'm up to 300. Now we need to raise another 100,000. And that wasn't all. We caught on video Ellis agreeing with the hidden camera reporter that the John Doe probe, witch hunt that targets outside interest groups in Wisconsin, was a blessing in disguise. I think this like John Doe thing is kind of a blessing in surprise. <laughs> I yes. think it is yes. too. Yes. I think it is yes. too. He came out against fellow Republican presidential hopeful Scott Walker. The I think Walker's interests. working for Walker. He's working for Walker. And even commented on his own virility. I'm only 60. So. Project Veritas's field correspondent Rich Valdez has more. Calls to the donors mentioned by Senator Ellis went unreturned. Henry Mills, Judy Rhodes, and Stu Mills were not available for comment. Mr. Mills office, Maureen speaking. Stuart Mills is traveling and I have not seen Henry Mills in the office today. Stu Mills will put 50,000. Henry Mills will put in 50,000. Now I'm just 200. Here, Senator Ellis is discussing potentially violating Wisconsin state election law. I have a $400,000 committee that Judy Rose will, I'm raising the money, she will manufacture the grass. She's good. 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 She's good.
candidates in any election shall file a statement under oath affirming that the committee or individual does not act in cooperation, consultation, or suggestion from any candidate or agent authorized as a committee for the candidate. So it's unclear if Senator Mike Ellis is intentionally trying to break state election law or whether he just doesn't understand the law.